I'm Danny. I'm Nick. I'm Tate. And we did uh, Derrick Rose. So a little background information on him. He was the number one high school point guard in the nation. Uh, Rose played for Memphis University, declared for the NBA draft in 2008. Uh, he was selected number one overall by the Chicago Bulls. He was MVP for the 2010-2011 season. And he's also played for the Knicks, Cavaliers, Timberwolves, and now he's currently playing for the Pistons. Uh, background about his injuries. Uh, his major, uh, most major injury was 2012, uh, which when he tore his ECL. Uh, 2013, he, just had his, uh, he had to skip a year out. Uh, 2014, he came back and then tore his meniscus. And due to this ACL tear, Rose uh, has had many other injuries, such as ankle sprains, wrist, toe, and neck injuries. Uh, the issue, so Rose had a major ACL tear back in 2012, and from the injury, he could have potentially made him a weaker player and harder for him to get mentally stable again. Uh, people that are uh, majorly involved in this are his coaches, teammates, uh, uh, family, and doctors. So concentration, so concentration means attention and focus. It could also mean the mental effort placed on sensory or mental events. So even though Rose had a major injury that has made him get distracted at times, Rose has his head up at times to try to stay concentrated. Uh, Rose said most guys would have, would have been retired. So throughout, he's been injured pretty much his whole career. And he's saying that most people would have retired, but he stayed, he stayed focused and on track. And then this goes to show his passion for the game. Uh, self-confidence. So self-confidence is the belief that you can successfully perform a desired behavior. Due to Rose's injuries throughout his career, this can bring down his confidence. After his ACL tear, Rose would show up to practice the following season looking a little down. Uh, his, conf his confidence level definitely did go down. And his coach said, Rose does not feel comfortable returning to the court, end of story. So this goes to show that he's not confident in, um, like, in, in his game back at the time. Uh, arousal stress and anxiety. So this is a blend of physiological and psychological activity in a person and the negative emotional state characterized by nervousness, worry, and apprehension. So when Rose played for the Knicks at the time, doctors were looking over him due to his major injury in 2012, so they knew that he was hurt and wanted to like make sure that he was doing fine. Uh, these doctors made Rose take stress tests to make sure that he was okay. Uh, Rose said uh, they were watching me close and try not to go out there and go too crazy the, the minutes that I'm out there. So that's what the, um, the doctor said to Rose. And this is how the doctor responded to Rose because they did not want him getting another major injury, also did not want him to go through the stress again while, while dealing with the, another possible injury. Uh, motivation. Motivation is the direction and intensity of one effort. Rose was trying, to stay, was trying his best to stay motivated throughout his process of injuries. Derrick Rose scored his career high 50 points in October 2018. So this goes to show that Rose did not give up and is still motivating himself uh, to like do good. Uh, he did not give up and he continued to train and work hard even though times he was stressed and not as focused as, as he should have been in the past. Okay, right. Dimitri, um, just a little background information on this. The 2012 NBA season was shortened because of a lockout regarding player contracts. So it was down to, uh, the season was short down to 66 games instead of the regular 82 games. And as a result of this lockout short season, <laughs> players had less time to recover from game to game, meaning they were more uh, strung out mentally and physically. And obviously, because they had less rest in between games, that means their concentration was down because they had less time to prepare in between games. And Imagery is an important way to keep athletes in the game and maintain their flow. And had Rose practiced imagery before the playoff game in 2012 where he tore his ACL, he would have not injured himself and he would have actually been concentrated and focused on the game. Okay, with our action plan, Derek Rose needs to stop injuring himself so often. Obviously, he can't control it like physically can't control himself getting injured, but there are ways to uh, prevent it and slow it down from having so much. And when the pressure is on, Rose needs to slow down, focus, and realize that at this point in his career, his body is extremely fragile injury prone. And there are certain ways to help him overcome the adversity of becoming injured so often. And one of these ways would be to increase his concentration. And the ways to increase his concentration during game are is that he needs to set realistic goals for himself because 
he sometimes still gets in the mindset of, oh, I'm the MVP, I'm the player that I once was. No, you're not. You're a shell of your former self, which is sad to say, but his body is taking a complete toll, so that's why he needs to set realistic goals for himself at this point in his career and be a role player. He also needs to develop stricter routines. Stricter workouts have proven to help players increase their concentration, which in turn will make sure he's way more focused on his body and mind while during a game. He also needs to focus on what he can control. Injuries can happen at any time, so he needs to focus on the, the factors that would help facilitate him to not become injured. And he needs to know his body's limits. Like I previously mentioned, this is not his MVP form anymore. He can't be doing all these crazy explosive moves on the court anymore. He needs to slow down and realize on what his body is actually at the level of performing. Okay, uh, Rose also would need to increase his confidence. He can, one way to do this is stop worrying about comparisons to the past. Many, this is not so much sport journalists, but obviously many people on the internet will continue to discourage him by saying you're not who you used to be, you're a shell of your former self. He needs to stop worrying about that and focus on the fact that he still is a good basketball player, even though he's declined in recent years. He also needs to dwell on the positive. Only negative thoughts and emotions are only going to decrease his confidence because he's just going to feel down and not good. He needs to let go of fear. Like Obviously, he's scared of being injured since it happens so often and letting go of it sometimes will actually uh, increase his confidence because he just feels that he's on top of the world with the, the, uh, all of the adrenaline pumping during the game. And he needs to play freely instead of holding back. Sometimes he will do make some decisions in the court that uh, will not help the team because he is scared of being injured. And while he is more injury prone and not the man that he used to be, like sometimes it would be okay help your team and do an explosive or risky uh, maneuver on his body. Another uh, part of the action plan that we developed would be to help Derrick Rose uh, control his arousal. He needs to use positive self-talk statements in order to maintain focus on the task at hand. Obviously, a positive mind, positive body, positive energy to help him achieve what he wants to. He needs to focus on what he can durably do as a player, not focus on the past, like I said. Focusing on the past is not going to get him anywhere, and if anything, it'll just make him feel worse about what he used to be. He needs to make sure his breath is calm and steady to help him stay focused. That's just controlling somatic anxiety that occurs during a game and can help him maintain his anxiety and arousal. And actually, we thought a good uh, idea for this plan was to help have him meditate pregame because meditation has been proven to uh, calm down the body, calm down the mind, and going into a game with a calm mindset will definitely help uh, an individual like Derek Rose control his arousal. Uh, furthermore, we talked about how Derek Rose can increase his motivation. One of these ways is that if you're listening to motivational music, pump up music will make him want to go out and play hard and make sure his team wins because he's pumped up. He can use his nervous energy about his injuries to turn that energy into excitement. Uh, during our one of the articles we found, it talked about how athletes can use injuries about, or sorry, nerves about injuries to increase their motivation, meaning they want to do well so that stigma gets away from them. So that could be one way uh, Derek Rose can increase his motivation. He needs to have a positive mindset. Once again, obviously, positive mind equals positive body, which equals positive results. And his cycle and his psychological satis satisfaction of stepping on the court after injury can be turned into motivation. This can be just the fact that he's come back from injury after injury can increase his motivation to keep wanting to better himself so he doesn't get injured again. And lastly, uh, increasing or helping Derek Rose with his imagery can help him become less injury prone because, well, to do this, Rose needs to imagine what it's like to be in pain, so he needs to know what it feels like, which he obviously does, but having that in his mindset before a game can help him overcome what not to be. He also needs to only rehearse positive results. Once again, positive mind, positive body equals positive outcomes. He needs to immerse himself in the emotional and experience of performing successfully. 
and this is due to the fact that obviously we all like the feeling of success and winning so if he felt this way prior to a game and imagined himself doing that it would actually turn those thoughts into feelings and he would feel very uh, positive going into a game and he needs to recreate his past mistakes in his mind and what I mean by that is just that he needs to replay moments where he got injured so he knows not to do that uh, again. So uh, our plan for the class, if you're ever stuck wondering how you can prevent your own injury, we decided to use imagery to help you understand what you could do to like try to avoid injury. So. Sensing everything around you when you should use it. Uh, that's definitely to be used when your head's not fully in the game. If you feel like you're kind of spacing out, you gotta really focus on what's around you because any wrong step, any wrongdoing could lead to an injury. Why should you use it? To make sure you're, you avoid hurting yourself, that's pretty straightforward. And the basic elements of the skill would be to look where you're going, get an idea of who you're around, and if you're gonna jump, make sure you know where you're gonna land. It's very important to know what your teammates are doing and possibly what your opponents are doing if you're able to. So you can concentrate on what you have to do to keep yourself safe. So the imagery around you, the things you can do is get a sense of what your game plan is. Are you gonna charge up the court and go right for a layup or are you gonna do some kind of uh, motion, you know, in terms of basketball? So know what your teammates will be doing during the play if possible. You know, talk that over before if you can. Try to figure out what your opponents are doing. What's their defense set up? Is a man a man? Is it zone? That's very important just to know how close they'll be to you. And uh, try, or if applicable, keep tabs on which opponent demonstrates the most aggression in the game. Is someone about to foul out or anything like that? That's important to know. Think ahead of what may happen if you try to do something. Is there a possibility you may get hurt? Are you gonna go for a layup and you know someone's right behind you ready to slam the ball at you? You know, that could push you right out of bounds on the floor. So embrace for any impact, whether it's against another person or against the floor. And make sure you know your time limits so you're not being rushed with minimal time left. That could be like the shot clock or something. And just make sure you plan ahead. So training your body and your brain during practice, you can practice falling. Knowing how to land and how to take a blow can definitely help you learn like what's a more comfortable position to fall on. Instead of falling on your ankle, you could try to fall more on like your butt or something. And you know that's important for sure. Put pressure on yourself and try to gather your senses during during it. Uh, you could have your teammates maybe get in your face and you could try to see if you could block them out a little bit so you can also get a sense of what's around you, know what's going on, just to make sure that that one thing in your face isn't the only thing that you're looking at. Uh, definitely know your, or start to find your limitations, whether it's your pain tolerance, your memory, your focus, or whatever. Just knowing where your senses fall short can help you work on those areas. And during the game, don't be afraid to voice concern over your pain. Letting it build up will just lead to a greater downfall than treating it immediately. Trust your senses. Okay, and in conclusion, at this point in his career, Derek Rose will continue to remain injury prone. There's no if and or buts about it. However, throughout the years since 2012 with his uh, first ACL injury and all the injuries that followed it, Rose has been able to handle them pretty well and he's always come back from them and he's still playing the league today, you know, seven years later. And focusing on his mind-body interaction is the most important thing because if your mind is not right, your body is not right. You know, negative mind equals negative outcomes on your body, positive mind equals positive outcomes. And positive thoughts will continue to facilitate, facilitate success in Derek Rose's career. And using the action plan we developed to increase his concentration, confidence, motivation, use of imagery, and arousal control will result in a, you know, longer and successful career for Derek Rose. And we're so that is our presentation. Thank you. Yeah, I was worried